What's up guys? Welcome to another Technical Tuesday video. In today's video, we plan on uh, finishing everything on the engine so that it can go in. Basically, we have the timing belt left to do, so we're going to be replacing the timing belt. We've got to do the injector lashing. And then finally, um, we're going to try and clean the, the block and the head in regards to the water ports and so forth. There's a lot of rust in there. I've shown you guys before. So yes, um, the first thing I'm going to show you guys is the new timing kit. So yes, I went with the Continental timing kit. This is going to be the replacement. So in this kit, you get the belt. And if you open it here, oh, okay, there goes the key. Um, you get this key as well. Uh, that's for the tensioner. And yes, a new tensioner two bolts for the roller and the tensioner and there's a new roller as well and yeah a nice sticker to indicate when last the um, cam belt was done okay so to get to the engine um, you guys can see the engine is right here let me just get some light going here as you can see the rust inside of there and then yeah yeah you guys can see inside of there we need to get it out so the approach that we're going to take is to put a hose pipe on here and just flush some water through it uh, this is in essence just to to see um, if we can get most of the rust out before we install the water pump as well so yeah guys I'm gonna put you on a time-lapse and yeah you can see how we're gonna approach to 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 cleaning the, all the water ports. Let's get to it. Okay, so you guys saw on the time lapse we managed to get most of the rust out there. Not everything is yet, but it is definitely better than what it was, no doubt. Um, I'm gonna try and get the light in there yeah there's still a bit left but once I do have the engine back in um, I'll be able to to run some coolant flush through it but yeah here at the top as well this pipe is also much better than what it was it was in a terrible state guys so yeah it is definitely much better and uh, yeah if you look here uh, we managed to get those four bolts loose as well the main thing is we don't want to turn the crank over because there's no cam belt on and we don't want to bend a valve or something. We're quickly going to do the, the timing belt now. Yeah, I'll take you guys through the process in the end. I'm going to put a time lapse on and then finally um, I'll explain step by step on how we did it. guys so the timing belt is finally on I'll be honest it was quite a tedious process uh, this is the first time ever that I've done timing belt on a 1.9 TDI so yeah um, it was a learning process and uh, if I have to do it in the future I know how to approach it now um, I'm gonna quickly show you guys basically what the steps was that we took to to do it um, yeah so um you just have to ensure that i had a, a lot of markings so here's a marking here and there's a marking there and right on that cover there's a marking there so basically um to ensure that you stay on these markings there's a small pin inside of there i'm just going to get a light on there so you guys can see see there's a small pin there 
and uh, that's the way that we knew that the crank is still at the same place where we started um, yeah so the approach that we took was to um, basically put the water pump back in and then uh, the tensioner on uh, just ensure you'll see there's like a small hole there where it aligns on it has to be out of that hole and uh, there shouldn't be any tension on the tensioner and then yeah you put the belt on it is quite difficult to get the belt on but once it's on then uh, you can put the tension or the roller on and then it's just about doing the tensioning on this you guys can see there's like a center point right there where it aligns and it's as easy as that the belt is on and uh, we're heading into the process of doing the, the injector lashing now I'm gonna explain to you guys how I did the injector lashing at the end I'll put it on a time lapse again and then yeah you guys can see how we're going to be doing the injector lashing okay guys so we're gonna be starting with the injector lashing uh, the first thing we did was to actually take out all the glow plugs um, to just turn the motor over and uh, yeah so the approach is going to be to turn the motor over get uh, the injector at the lowest point possible and then basically just tighten this bolt and or when it's once it's loose you just tighten the center point with an allen key till it gets to a point where it feels a bit tight and then 180 degrees back and then you tighten the bolt so we'll be doing that with each one of these and uh, once we are done I'll, I'll uh, give you guys an update but I'll put you in a time lapse for now and you guys can see what we're going to do and how we're going to do it I've done injector number one now um, I had to do like a test injector just to see the procedure on how to do it but yes you can see here it's marked off now um, I made some markings there as well so basically you just turn or turn the engine over till it's at a bottom end or the injector, injector spring is fully bottomed out and then um, you turn the center uh, cap all the way till it doesn't turn anymore and you make your markings and you turn it 180 degrees back so I'm going to put you guys in a time lapse and you'll be able to see um, how I actually do these <music> Can you see the smile on my face? I can I can feel the end nearing. I can feel we're getting close to the end. And yeah guys, I'm super excited. I can't I can't wait to get all the old Pamela on the road, you know. Yo, the car's dirty, the car's been standing, and yeah, yeah, I can't wait to get the car back on the road. Yes guys, so as you've seen we did the cam belt today um, we did the injector lashing yeah and then finally um, we got the tandem pump on as well the engine is done guys the engine is done it's just basically the turbo left now and putting the engine back in putting the gearbox on with the clutch and all of that and then the first start is gonna come that first start is gonna be amazing. I can't explain to you guys how excited I am. So I'm gonna show you guys basically what we did. All right. So the cam belt, you guys saw the time lapse of the cam belt. I explained that it's quite easy. Start off by getting the water pump in and then putting the cam belt on, put the tensioner in, and then finally the roller on there the tensioning is a bit of a, a struggle to get it but like i said there's that small pin that you have to align but once that's done it's over i showed you guys a time lapse on how we did the injector lashing so we had like a um i want to call it a feeler gauge but it's not a feeler gauge um 
Yeah, but in anyways, I used that to determine when the injector was at its lowest point. And yeah, you turn the like the um, centerpiece here of the Allen key all the way so that it can't turn and then 180 degrees back. You guys can see all the markings here as well. Yeah, you guys can see the markings there on the injectors. And then finally the tandem pump is on with a brand new tandem pump gasket. And yeah, now I'm, I'm going to put the valve cover or the tapper cover, whichever way you prefer of saying it. I'm going to put that back on. And yeah, finally the engine is finished guys. This has been a tedious process. It's been some time and yeah, I can't explain to you guys how excited I am. Thank you for watching another video guys. Thank you for watching another Technical Tuesday. I hope you guys enjoyed it and if you enjoy the content once again hit that subscribe button possibly the thumbs up and uh, i'll see you guys in the next one i can tell you guys i've got something nice lined up for you guys for taste right thursday Woo! guys it's so much fun i can't explain to you how much fun this car is cool guys i'll see you in the next one cheers <laughs>